The French-German defense conglomerate KNDS has secured a contract to supply Ukraine with 12 Caesar self-propelled howitzers. The announcement was made by Sebastian Lecornu, the French Minister of the Armed Forces, following the signing of the agreement on October 3, 2024, during an industrial forum in Kiev. This contract marks another significant step in bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities amid ongoing regional security challenges. The agreement, financed by Ukraine, is part of a broader initiative to support Ukraine's military modernization and resilience. Sebastian Lecornu highlighted the importance of strengthening production capacity within the French defense industry to aid Ukraine. Increasing the production capacity of our defense industry helps to support Ukraine, Lecornu stated on X, formerly Twitter, underscoring France's ongoing role in facilitating Ukraine's defense efforts. The Caesar howitzers, renowned for their mobility and precision, are a key asset for Ukraine's artillery forces. Mounted on a wheeled chassis, these self-propelled artillery systems provide high maneuverability, allowing them to quickly redeploy in combat situations. With their 155mm caliber and a range of up to 40 kilometers, the Caesar howitzers offer Ukraine the capability to respond effectively to threats while maintaining flexibility on the battlefield. Ukraine's acquisition of additional Caesar howitzers comes at a time when other European nations are also stepping up their support. Earlier this month, Belgium announced it was considering a proposal to purchase and transfer three Caesar howitzers to Ukraine. Meanwhile, Luxembourg has ordered one Caesar howitzer for the Ukrainian military, further contributing to the artillery buildup. This international backing highlights the growing consensus among European nations to provide Ukraine with the tools it needs to defend itself. These efforts form part of a broader collaborative initiative to enhance Ukraine's artillery capabilities, a key component of its defense strategy. In January 2024, Sebastian Lecornu, together with Ukraine's Minister of Defense, Rustam Yumirov, established the Artillery Coalition for Ukraine. The coalition aims to coordinate and streamline efforts to equip Ukraine with advanced artillery systems, including the Caesar howitzers. Under this initiative, 78 Caesar howitzers will be delivered to Ukraine's armed forces, with all units expected to be produced by the end of 2024. France has already committed significant resources to this cause, having allocated 50 million euros for the production of 12 howitzers, while Ukraine has funded an additional six units. The combined efforts ensure that Ukraine's military will have a robust artillery force equipped with modern, combat-proven systems. Beyond the delivery of hardware, France is also playing a crucial role in training Ukrainian forces to operate and maintain these advanced systems. As part of the coalition's initiative, France will train 2,100 Ukrainian recruits, equipping them with the necessary skills to operate the Caesar howitzers and other military vehicles. In addition to artillery systems, these recruits will receive training in the use of armored vehicles and other essential military equipment, ensuring they can fully integrate the new technologies into their operational strategies. The partnership between Ukraine and France, with support from European allies, underscores the importance of international cooperation in bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities. The delivery of Caesar howitzers marks a significant milestone in Ukraine's military modernization, providing enhanced firepower and mobility in its ongoing efforts to safeguard its sovereignty. With the continued support of France, Germany, Belgium and Luxembourg, Ukraine's military is poised to receive a substantial boost in artillery strength, ensuring that its forces are well prepared for the challenges ahead. Through initiatives like the Artillery Coalition for Ukraine, European nations are not only delivering equipment but also fostering long-term military cooperation and training to empower Ukraine's defense forces for the future.